let me copy my url first before i copy the other route area so i'm going to copy this url ctrl c then go to postman go to postman as you can see we have a youtube channel wordpress um um, what's it called collection so in this collection i'm going to be sharing to my github accounts so you are going to have access to uh, the collection list but uh let's just start once we are done we are going to be doing that so i'm going to add a new request so this request which um is going to be representing what we have there but if i do that let me paste this url first so this is the, this url and this url is going to be um representing this guy which is um get users everybody so now this gets users um routes it uh, routes um url i'm going to copy this very first end then come back to this place as you can see the method is what is get so make sure the method is matching what you have so after the url has been added put slash slash wpjsync which is the um which is the first which is the proper way of initializing wordpress api to pass your route so after the wpjsn slash the custom route we added which is adding user from slash version one then pass the get users method into it now we have the get users param that we added to this guy now okay now as you can see there is no um security here but if you're on live site if you're on live site please ensure to take the um, necessary step to secure your api place and place okay so i'm going to send this request now let's see what we're going to get okay it says no route found matching the request the reason we don't have route found matching this request is because we have not um, actually initialized the uh, the init method okay so now let's just get everybody set because by the time we initialize the init method all these methods is going to be um called for and we only have get user and get users just two okay so uh we need to okay let's just comment this so we take it one after the other save okay so after saving that i copy this class i need to copy this class Take it down to the last end the over here right in it so in it um add the user api then initialize the method which is what the one that declares the rest api in it itself okay so save this now go back to um postman send your request we should have the users on the page now as you can see we have the user which is currently me they had me just a single user data that is what we have here so these are the just this 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 these are the list of the array so in the first array my account is there okay good so that part has been done so the next one we need to now do now is get user single user so let me save this one to get users so get users save let me save this one to get users and let me save the response okay the response is save okay so let me update this also to wordpress oh sorry wordpress user api okay so the next one i'm going to be adding a new request is going to be uh get single user so get user so let me call this from the previous one okay so now this one will get user so now this get user this get user is going to be accepting a parameter so get user that is single user okay so what parameter is it accepting we we'll check this now we're going to discover that sorry it's not this one get user get user okay get user okay this is get user here so get user is accepting a parameter of um user id so now this user id must be passed it's very very important so now let me pass this user id so user id is what so what is my user ID? let me check my user id is one so i need to pass one to this so that i can get a proper data so if i send that now as you can see it's return my data to me so you can also do some checking because if you are getting this kind of stuff you have to confirm if it's empty or not so if it is not empty let it do something else so you are going to write here user words id so user id equals to this and guess me you are going to check if it's empty so check if the user um, id is empty yeah so if empty return some error 
Okay, awesome. So if it's empty, we are going to get some error and else is going to move on and add the user ID to it. Okay, this is cool. Now if I send it now, we have this. And if I have what nothing, it's going to what complain. No user what ID provided. Status 400. Awesome. Okay, so that is how this um, single user and getting all users is done. Now, let's say we want to add a new user. Yes, that is adding new users. So, let's now pass something so we can save this demo. Okay, save, um, save response. Response has been saved. Awesome. Awesome. So, the next one we need to now work on is register user. Register user which is post copy take it down register user okay so it's going to initialize this for me so it's going to check if username or password is set if it's not set don't do anything and if it is set register the user okay so user creates wp create user so if the user has been created return success so it's going to check that so if there's an error creating the user, user already exists, else return the user that is created. Awesome. Okay, then close the word, close the statement. Okay, so now we close this over here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So now this is the params that we are getting. So the params is going to be checking if username is there or password is what is also present. So save it. They are going to declare a new API. Um, request declare a new one so change this one to post slash get the old version so here we are going to pass what register user don't forget it is here slash register what user so it's the same thing so don't get confused if you have any question please just comment below i'm going to answer your question i know you must have one or two questions to ask i'm very very sure okay so now because it's post i'm going to be using form data to pass this um this guy down to the register area okay so i'm going to copy the word username so let's say you want to pass first name and last name and uh, username and password so i'm going to write first name first name then last last name okay last name let me take this guy down last name the username and what password and don't forget very very essential email email user email <laughs> okay so all this now is very very important so the user email must be passed okay so now we have username password email so first name and last name is not really important but yet we need to what and we need to accept it into our create user so now this create user that we have here which is um, accepting username, password, and email. Uh, we are not going to be using this format. We are going to be using extended format. So the extended format is going to be this way. So I'm going to have here yeah, user data. So user data, sorry, user data. Then do this this way. Here we are going to have what email. Email, we get a email. Um, first name, first name. We get the word first name, last name. I think I'm correct. Okay. Then username. We get the word username. Okay. Get the username, the password. Password. We get the word, we got the password. The email. Email. Okay. We get the word, we get the email. Okay. Add the email to hit. So the email is added. So we are using an extended version to do this thing. So now after that, we are going to register the user. So this user is going to be created based on what we have. So we are going to be using WP insert user. As you can see, this is an advanced method. So we are going to pass all this thing into user data. So now this user data is accepting this. So for you to confirm if what you are passing is actually correct, you can check the WordPress um, WordPress log um, directory to see the valid data that you can pass into this place so is what i'm actually checking currently so as you can see uh, our password sorry our password should be user pass okay so copy that so that's what I'm, i was saying so you need to make sure it's corresponding user login is called the username 
user login is going to be for the username and our uh, email is going to be user email okay then display name is going to accept first name and last name oh that's awesome so instead of passing it individually we need to pass it um together so now let's take this out so you need to make sure those things is um corresponding to what you are doing so here we are going to match param params so first name first name then last name together that's for the display name okay so now since we have this we should be good so i'm going to take out this guy so we have display name which is taking the first name or the last name user login for username password for password and user email for email okay so now uh, we we'll register this guy and we want to check if it's actually working or else gives error and after the user has been registered we get a user and we we'll return the user to the screen awesome so save it and go back to postman so um let's try to um validate because as, as you can see we are accepting the first name and the last name so if it's not present it might give an error so it's just best to also check for first name and last name so now let me pass first name and also last name to it so let's push this to hit or oh. first name and what last name save okay so this has been saved um let's try to send this request without um without anything as you can see it says what's missing param so now let's now pass the first name first name are the last name um dg the username i your dg okay then password password will be one two three four five email email will be um simple at gmail.com okay so we have this credential added so let's run it and let's see what we have so send what do we have the user is actually created awesome so now this user has been created as you can see display name is what added AG. awesome awesome so I will, I will save this request now as a sample before i do the sample i need to first of all save this one and rename this one to add user okay save that then save this response under it okay now this user has been added <coughs> so if we try to create this user again we should get an error user what you already exists awesome <coughs> okay so now the next one is update user update user so add request this will be update user okay so save update user is going to be post so we refer to the last um user we added so register user so only under, under this register user this is going to be called update user <sighs> update user okay i will check my code um to confirm if the route is correct okay so we have what update user update user awesome awesome okay now under the update user area we are going to go to the body go to the form data so we are going to be what we are going to just be updating the first name and the last name using using the user email so we are going to be using the user email to update the data so what we have here is what first name last name okay and over here we are going to pass the what the email of the user <coughs> email so the email we'll be editing is simple <coughs> simple at gmail gmail.com so the first name is going to be updated to well data okay so we're going to be updated to well data so we're going to update the person with this email to well data so now let's now go back to reverse code and validate this method so update user we should have that printed for us so that we we'll save more time okay so uh we are not getting some things so we need to take out some things that we don't need so we don't need password we are only sending email email on that guy okay so if email username 
um, first name and last name is not present, then we can trigger error. Okay, so check if this user is active. If this user is present in the database using the word user email. Yeah, user email. So we are going to what reference to email. So get user by user email. Okay. So that is for this. If the user is not present, then give error. Okay, save. Then if the user is present, then update the user. So updating this user is going to be represented by um <coughs> by the email. So we update the um display name and we don't update password, take our password, we don't update username. So if you want to do that, you can pass it. But we updated the first name and the last name. So update the user. So if um there's an error with the API, it should give an error, not um user already is yes, no, it's not about this, it's about uh, unable unable to sorry unable to edit user unable to edit user save then get the user id and let's see the new data awesome awesome okay so let's um let's change this to one to three so let's see the error we're going to be getting as you can see user not what user not found so if i take out this now and click on send this should update Oh, user not found. Simple at gmail.com. Let's see the previous one we did. Simple at gmail.com. Correct. Update. Simple at gmail.com. Send. Wow. Um, get user by um user email. I believe that is correct. Okay, let's see by email then. Get user by email. Let's see okay sorry by email as you can see it's by email over here so that's the mistake okay send it now so it says unable to edit user so i think um there's an error updating the user let's see so update a user in the database so what did you use to update user the updated user's id or wp error okay so if there's no id is going to trigger error so now let's pass the id of the user so i'm going to pass id user what id save now let's try it again now as you can see the user is what updated we have what well data awesome awesome uh so thank you so much thank you so much for um taking your time to watch this amazing tutorial from the scratch of creating the user updating the user and everything so please and please subscribe to my channel it is very very important it will help me grow subscribe to this channel so the user that we have created so far you can find it here as you can see this is the guy here and if i click on edit you should find the first name and the last name which is well data awesome so thank you so much for taking your time to watch the tutorial see you in my next one bye